Hey, Richie Bolchabodez, how's it going, guys? I got my coffee and uh, enjoying a great day. It's been beautiful out, summer's here, hunting season's right around the corner. Before you know it, I'll be in the woods. Actually, going in the woods shortly to do some scouting, and I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Just cleaning up some papers here. So, let's get into it. I got another comparison video. I uh, think you'll enjoy this one. It's the Ruger LC9 versus the Smith and Wesson Shield. Uh, I think a good comparison. You know, these are carry nine, slim nine millimeters. Um, really nice guns. Let's get into the size. Comparison that's the knit and gritty again guys. I'm gonna put my finger on the trigger all firearms are unloaded safety checked always Okay, almost the same size this the Ruger LC9 on the left is Right here the LC9 is a little smaller And let's get the comparison grip wise the LC9 is a little smaller overall the LC9 is a little smaller Okay, let's get into rounds. Okay, the LC9 has a seven round mag. Shield has a seven round with an eight round mag too. I have the peaking extensions on both of these just for comparison videos. Um, and I think peaking extensions are great with small firearms. Okay, safeties. There's a big issue with these guns. Ruga has a safety right here. Thumb safety, red you're dead. Okay? Also has a magazine disconnect. The magazine's not in there. The trigger will not pull. Loaded chamber indicator, which I think is a good thing. I don't bother me. Some people get offended by this, but you know, I really don't find it any problem to be honest with you. But the thumb safety. Now one thing about this thumb safety, it's a good thumb safety. And what I mean by that is if you have it on safe and you're coming out of the holster to draw, it's easy to swipe this down to red your dead. It's a natural motion here uh, for your 1911 guys. It's, it really is. And it, when you have it on safe and you come up, it's easy to disengage the safety as long as you train with it. Okay? The shield has a safety too with the loader chamber indicator and uh, the, th the safety right here in the trigger sort of like a safe action trigger this thumb safety I tell you what guys I don't know why they even bother putting it on uh, if you have this gun in safe and you think under a stressful situation you're gonna be able to swipe that down good luck because it is hard it is really really very little meat on this to catch and uh, I really want to recommend you using this safety, to be honest with you. Keep it in this position. If you want to use it, use it. But you better train real good with this because coming up and trying to swipe that, remember, gross motor skills is what happens in a stressful, real stressful situation. And if you think that you're going to draw this and be able to swipe that down in the heat of the moment or when that moment of truth comes, I don't know, guys. I don't trust this safety for that reason, and I don't keep it on. They make them now without a safety, and this safety can get somebody killed. In my opinion, I think it's a bad design um, for that reason. It, it's really not functional for that reason. I don't just, you know, I just don't think it's a great safety. Okay? Ergonomics. I always raved about the LC9, and I still will. I think it's ergonomically a great, great great design feels real good in the hand it really does it just something about this gun always felt good in the hand to me and uh just a real good gun the shield tell you what they the ergonomics of the whole smith the western I, I said it in my other video with this gun this the shield is really a good ergonomically gun uh feels great in the hands i absolutely think it's a great design I absolutely love it Okay, concealability, both conceal well. Uh, they're thin, easy to conceal with the right holster, right belt. Pocket carry, would I pocket carry any one of these? 
I have pocket carried this LC9. I have, and it does work. It is considerably lighter than the MMP shield. And uh, I wouldn't recommend ca uh, pocket carrying the shield though by any, any, any means whatsoever. Um, reliability. Both of these have been extremely reliable. This LC9 must have close to a thousand rounds to it. And I think it had one hiccup at one point, uh, if I remember correctly, and that was kind of early on. But it, it's been really reliable. I've been really impressed with this gun. For such a small gun, um, really, really nice. Easy to, uh, been super reliable. The shield, got about a few hundred to it, 500 maybe, maybe more. Uh, I stopped counting after 250, to be honest with you, once I feel it's broken in and reliable. Uh, this has a great reputation, too, and uh, really, really sweet. Uh, let's go on addition thing. Sights. These are adjustable sights, the rear sights on uh, the LC9. Pretty good three-dot sights, not bad. Again, no ledge, not too crazy about that. Again, these are the same, adjustable in the rear. Uh... Not too crazy about uh, the non-ledge here, you know, just something that, you know, I would consider changing these out to big dots on both of these guns. I, I think big dots are great for small 9 millimeters. I would consider changing the sights out, but they do work. Uh, recoil. This gun isn't bad with recoil. I think it's because of the ergonomics, it really shoots pretty good. But is one better than the other? Yes, the shield is way better recoil-wise. Uh, and uh, handling the recoil. I think the shield is fantastic. Shoots great, shoots like a dream. This can be a little snappy with some hot loads, it really can be, but uh, it's not uh, unbearable, let's put it that way. Uh, field strip. The shield definitely field strips better than the LC9, I'll be straight up. It's not that this is hard, this has a little window you gotta push down, there's a little pin that you gotta push out. No big deal. Uh, but this one, I think, because I'm so used to Glocks, I think that uh, this field strip's a little better. Now, there's a big difference is the trigger. One is a striker fired, the shield, and one is a hammer fired, the LC9. Now, which one has the big trigger? I, in my opinion, the biggest difference between, between these is the trigger and, of course, the, the mechanism, the striker fire versus hammer. I think... If you're a striker fire guy like I am, you're going to like the shield a hell of a lot better. Okay? Okay, let's go over the trigger. Oh, I got the safety on. Nice. Not a great reset, but it, there is a reset. Okay? Let's put the magazine in here. Oh, let me drop that. Drop the slide. Remember, this has a magazine disconnect. Now, this trigger is long and heavy. Long, pulling, 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 pulling. There it breaks. And all the way lets out. Not really a good reset. Um, that's, this is the reason why I am not going to do a shooting video on these two. Because, hands down, I shoot the shield better than this. Is it a training issue? Yeah, of course it's a training issue. But this long, heavy trigger makes it hard to, to be on target accurately. I mean, you could, I could put three shots center mass with this, no problem. In fact, this gun's being retired to Florida. I'm going to leave this in Florida as uh, one of my uh, Florida ca uh, carry guns. So that will be in, retired in Florida. You might not see this in a lot of videos no more. But uh, it's a great carry gun. And... Uh, you know, I hate flying with, I fly a lot with firearms when I do fly, and I kind of hate doing it, so I might leave a couple down there now. I used to have a couple, sold them to get some other gear, but uh, this will be one of my Florida guns now. You'll be seeing this in my Florida videos. But uh, reliability, like I said, they're, all, they're both great guns. They both shoot uh, really nice. M&P in my shield is better in that capability than the LC9. Now again, just like the Glock video, if I had to get rid of one, would I, this one, which one would I keep? This one's pretty an easy decision. I would definitely get rid of the LC9.
and keep the shield, to be honest with you. But, not saying anything bad about this, it's been really a sweet gun, and this is why I leave it in Florida. Because, and you know, when I carry in Florida, I think this will be a nice, light, easy carry. Does it, what carries a little better? Both of them carry pretty good, but I can pocket carry this, I think. I have it in the past, and I think it's pretty comfortable. Like, with a Remora holster and all that, I have a Remora holster for this. I think it works great. Options, a lot of options for both. So there's no problem there. And just overall, it, they're both good firearms. Is one better? I don't know. It depends on your really your taste. My taste is, is striker fired, so I, I like this better. You know, I love the LC9. Don't, do not get me wrong. I do not think it's a bad gun, but I think the M&P shield is just a little bit better. So there will be no shooting video on this because I don't think it's a fair comparison. Because I shoot struck a fire for years and I'm better with this. This trigger is really long and heavy. And um, I am not as accurate with it than with my shield. So I want to be fair to compare them. Remember, it's never the gun, guys. It's the shooter. So now if you deal with, with malfunctions, that's a whole different whole different ball game. But accuracy, it's always the shooter and never the gun. And my, I always tell that to people. And that's it, guys. I think these are both great firearms. Uh... If you really want something with a lot of safeties, you're really safety-oriented. Um, Round-wise, they're equal. I think you probably like the LC9, but you really got to train with this trigger. It's not the best trigger in the world. That's one knock on this gun. and it's To me, it's a big knock. It, it really is long and heavy, but that's part of the safety with the system. Um, if you're a striker-fire guy and you like Glocks and you like the M&P line, you're going to like this gun a lot. So, that's it. Richie Bullets Broad Edge. Quick little video here. I hope you guys enjoy this. A little long, but what the hell. Take care, guys. Over and out.